Developing tonight, a federal hate crimes trial now underway for three men who killed Ahmaud Arbery. A jury was seated this morning and opening arguments began just hours ago. CBS 46's Haley Mason is live in Brunswick, Georgia, with more on what happened on day one in the courtroom. Haley. Hi, Tracy. We're live in downtown Brunswick, just outside of the federal courthouse, where earlier this morning, 12 jurors and four alternates were officially sworn in. And this afternoon, opening statements began from the federal prosecutors and three defense attorneys. One thing that we know is that the jurors this time are um, a lot more diverse than the first trial, the criminal trial, and we'll get to that in a second. But the prosecution laying out its focus, trying to explain that it will prove that all three defendants, uh, Travis and Greg McMichael and William Roddy Bryan, participated in chasing and killing Arbery because he was black and they suspected him to be a criminal. Federal prosecutor Bobby Bernstein telling the jury, quote, they decided that the black man must have been in their neighborhood to commit crimes. She went on to quote text messages from social media where the defendants use the n-word and other racial slurs Travis McMichael often calling black people the n-word monkeys and subhuman savages they went on to explain that William Roddy Bryan his defense attorney at least explained that while he used some regret uh, regrettable language that he was not obsessed with race like the others as for the makeup of the jury there are three black jurors this time around as opposed to the criminal trial in our brief family spoke about that, saying it's encouraging. There are a large number of people from Augusta as well. William Bryan's attorney comes from Augusta, too. Arbery's family speaking on why they're more encouraged this time around. Oh, I'm just very pleased that you do see African-American people on the jury, more African-American people, you know, and that's just showing that we're moving in a good direction to uh, bring equal justice to all the people. You know, and that's, I think that's real good. And one thing that our brief family attorneys pointed out is that we are about to hear new evidence that has not been made public before as federal investigators scoured through phone records and social media. We'll have more specifics on what the prosecution is planning to point out as this trial goes on. We'll have that coming up at six o'clock. Reporting live in downtown Brunswick, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley.